And I didn't know what the hell Coach Sides was doing when she had Wheeler, Mitchell, and Caitlin in the game at the same time. I was like, yo, I told you never, never, ever, 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 ever to put Mitchell and Wheeler in the game together again. But you did it. But this is how you put Caitlin up in there at the end. So you know what I think Coach saw? I just think Coach elevated Caitlin to the first string defense for four quarter stops. I just think, I, I think we just saw that, guys. My mind is blown. Hey, hey, what I'm looking at? Oh, I didn't even know what looking at. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Chocolati with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. Y'all know, oh my God, oh my God, it's going cuckoo. It's going cuckoo around here. I told you I was going cuckoo last uh, uh, video. It's going cuckoo for Kaylin. Cuckoo for Kaylin, and guess what? I understand. I truly understand because in these trying times that we are going through, it is a breath of fresh air to be able to talk about something very positive. Seriously, with all of the, the talk about war, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out who's going to be the president of the United States, uh, being in debt, politics in general, people, people getting in trouble left and right. It's a breath of fresh air to actually talk about something positive. But still, People want to try to find a way to be negative, but not around these parts. So for everybody who's watching this video, I want to say thank you. Look, I, I so much appreciate you guys. So much appreciate you guys that words can't even really say. There's so many things going on and just popping up in the comment section that I want to get to. Right. I want to get to because I want to address some of these questions or even not even questions, just like statements that some people are making. So I'm thinking about this. What if I went live? Friday for this uh, week's up and coming fever game. What do y'all think? Put something, put, I don't know, put, put, um, put do that shit <laughs> in the comments. Put that up in there. That's gonna give, that's gonna be one of my curse words <laughs> for the, the day. <laughs> that's gonna be one. But put that in the comments if y'all want me to go live for the fever's game. I think I should do that. Oh, and also, let's keep it going, man. Let me know how y'all found me. Let me know how y'all found this channel. Let me know where you watching from. That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I told you where I'm from. From the great state of Texas, baby. You already know what it is. We running everything around these parts. Shout out to the Houston Texans. They're going to win that mother this year. <laughs> I'm bored. I just throw shit up out there. But guys, let's get into it. Did y'all watch the game? Did y'all watch the game? I promise this was one of the most efficient games I've seen from that team all the way around. All the way around. Even Wheeler. Oh, my God. Wheeler, look, I'm sorry. I, I need to apologize to Wheeler real quick because I, I swear she just be running around out there like she need her Ritalin. She be all over the place like a little puppy. I told y'all she be running around, man. She running like, like a puppy with headlights just popping off on each side of her. She just going to go try to find them. That's what Wheeler remind me of. But Wheeler showed up. Wheeler got a jumper. Did y'all see Wheeler's jumper was wet? I think with her too, she just need a little bit more confidence too. See, this is what I am going to love to see for this team moving forward. But what I don't love to see is this stupid ass schedule that y'all got. They got them going five games straight on the road. Who made these schedules for these women? Nobody has a schedule like that in no sport. Well, baseball probably. And I, you know, I think the NBA, I think I seen an NBA game where they, this, this team went all West Coast. I'm talking about they went through every single team in California and then came up and went through the Houston, went through the Texas team. They, that, that, that shit is real. Well, maybe y'all should stop doing that. <laughs> maybe y'all should stop doing that because it don't make no damn sense to send this team out there for five straight games in a row. They need, but at the same time, being on the road, and I hope they get charter jets, because being up there and not with these commercial assholes, when y'all up there in the air, y'all get to 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 communicate with each other. This is a, a togetherness that you won't get. At any other time of the day, because if you're not if you're not practicing, because when you're not practicing, sometimes you don't really want to just hang out with your teammates. You want to be a, be on the phone with your loved ones, especially if somebody like Kayla. She just got into the league. Yes, yeah, she's been in, in in school, but it's still different. This is a different pace of a speed of pace for these people. So now they get that. They get all this time to talk to each other, try to figure out schemes, plans. Mitchell and and Kayla could come to well, Mitchell need to come to this the resolute that hey, bro, this is this is on you. This is your team. I'm gonna do what I do, but this is your team because that's what I felt like in this game. I felt like Mitchell was on some. You know what? I'm gonna let you do what you do, right? I'm gonna let you do what you do, but 
I'm going to still do what I do as well. Did, did, did y'all kind of feel that? Because shout out to Mitchell. She started out the gate five for five. Didn't miss a shot. She was on fire. Do you see her on defense too? Look, I think people should take notice to the fever team. Because this is what happens when you don't pay attention to greatness. Everybody who didn't want to watch LeBron James for whatever reason, guess what? You're never going to see him again. And highlights ain't the same. Everybody who felt some kind of way about Michael Jordan, you didn't watch him because you hated for some other reason, you didn't get to see him. It's not real. The highlights are not real. When you watch this man in person, look like he's flying. No. Tell me what your, your favorite athlete right now reminds you of. Something that they're not supposed to be able to do. And I ain't talking about no damn one-hand catches because everybody doing one-hand catches right now. I'm talking about Michael Jordan was flying. The dude was in the air so long, he readjusted his shot twice. Sometimes three times. That boy was the truth. And people hate on the truth and greatness and they don't look at it. And look what's happening to you right now. You're going to miss out on this because the fever... I'm telling y'all, go make y'all bets. Go make y'all bets just for them to make the playoffs. Because the Fever have, uh, I, I think it's maybe minus 1,000 or something like that, minus 100, that they don't make the playoffs or that they do make the playoffs. And the way they're playing right now, I'm telling you, they can make it. That team is really, really good, guys. I think that, and I can say this for myself as well, because I can get a little bias. No, I don't get a little bias, because if I did, I wouldn't be telling y'all this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked at that team. You know I was calling them trash. I, that, I was calling them sorry. But in actuality, they in a WNBA just like Kaylin is. And it is rough out there and tough. And y'all have seen from watching these games, Kaylin, that there's some really good ballers out there. So this is what was going on. I told y'all they were not on the same page. They're really good. Everybody just needs to know their role. And people didn't know their role that Kaylin was the PG. They didn't know that role. This is Kayla. This is your team. They tripping. All this stupid talk for people like Shell Swoops, right? I'm going to get on her ass. But, like, this is her team. I don't, I don't care if this is her first year here. Go look at her for four years. Because in college, you're an amateur. You get what I'm saying? There are a lot of people who did not go to high school. I mean, I, I'm sorry, not high school, but did not go to college. They went overseas. When, when it was um, my earlier generation, Right, a little generation, you could bypass it all and go straight, go straight to the pros. And there's a lot of people who did it, and they were great, and nobody said anything about them. Not like how they're using and abusing this girl who actually has the resume. I could see if she went straight from high school to the WNBA and she don't have any of that stuff sandwiched in the middle, but she has a NCAA resume that right now is lining up with those girls. In the WNBA. Look, see, this is what was really going on, guys. It's a lot of hate right now. It's a lot of a real whole lot of hate towards Caitlin. And guess what? It's a whole lot of hate towards Angel Reese, too. It's a whole lot of hate towards both of them. And y'all don't see what's going on. Y'all don't see that this is a rivalry, a sports rivalry, and not anything that has to do with race. It really isn't. I'm going to tell you right now, them girls don't look at Kaylin and be like, man, we don't like her because she white. They look at her and be like, man, we don't like you because you is who you is. And we've been doing this shit for a long time. And now they're trying to say that you the one that made it happen. And you know what Angel did? Angel said, shit, they about to be talking about Kaylin's ass all season long. So you know what I'm going to do? Hey, Kaylin, hey. Kaylin, hey, hey, me as Angel, guess what? You a bitch. That's, that's how she feel. Look, that's not me calling Kaylin a bitch. That's me saying Angel calling. <laughs> that, that's how she feel. Let me start this, this, this rivalry. Let me start this, right? Y'all better start boning up on your education, guys. You better start boning up on these books when I tell you that if you do not have an enemy, find a way to make one. That is what the hell that, that, Angel did. So as long as they're going to talk about Kayla, they're going to talk about Angel too. She is a genius. Because <laughs> we ain't going to stop talking about Caitlyn. We ain't going to stop. You want to know why we ain't going to stop? Because of them. Because of the media. Because of the women in the WNBA. You guys started this. If y'all would have just let her come up in there and play, how about y'all try to be a mentor to her because y'all need this for the sport? Wasn't nobody watching this shit? And now you want to piss on the one thing that's going to come in and try to make it better. You guys, 
Woo, you guys. Did y'all not watch the game that these guys just had? Did y'all not just watch the game? The whole team went off. The whole I got to look up the stats. Hold on. Because I have remembered them. Oh, and before I go, but talk, Angel and them played the game today against the Storm. And I'm going to tell you something. Angel went bananas. I promise she she took all that stuff that was talking about. They, I, I'm trying to tell you. She's, she's a genius. Look, the girl went 7 for 13 from the floor, 3 for 3 from free throw. She had 18 rebounds. 18 rebounds. Three assists, two steals, 16 points. Angel Reese went crazy today. She went crazy against the Storm. Here we go. Yo. Very. Listen, guys. This was a very. Sorry. This is a very efficient game from the entire team. All the way around, guys. All the way around. I told y'all. Uh, was it not Nyisa? I think I pronounced her name wrong. Smith? That's my, my new favorite player over there on the Fever. That's my new favorite player. Look, if you see this video, Nyisa, I want you to go off every time you go out there and touch the court. Because I'm going to tell you something. You are the engine. If people don't realize this. You got to have that spark. And it's usually come from one of your biggest players, right? One of the most dominant players out there that can throw people around. Y'all better go look around these leagues. Everybody got one. They got that person. That's the enforcer right there. I'm going to tell y'all something. Let anybody else run up on Caitlin, and I guarantee she's going to be the first one to step in their face. Because you are effing with my player who's going to be giving me the ball right now because Coach has given her the team. Coach has given Caitlin the team, so now she can control the rock. She the one that's passing me the ball down low so I can break these boys off. She the one that's running this high pick and roll with me. She the one that's doing that. She making that happen. Naisa was balling. Came down. She can bring the ball up court, too. She can dribble like that. That team is, boy, that team is good. That team is good. That the team is good. She dropped 15. Boston dropped 19. Look, look. Mitchell, 17. Kaitlyn, 23. But Kaitlyn was so damn close to another triple-double. I was like, no. And I knew, she, I thought she had already had all our rebounds. When I think it was like the third quarter, I promised they took some rebounds from her. Because I could have swore that she had, what, um, I thought she had had nine going into the third. I, I promise they took some rebound from her. I, I might just be tripping. <laughs> but I saw her going for the ball. She's running for the ball to go get it. That was very Russell Westbrook-esque. She's trying to do everything out there. Do you see her defense? You see her rip old girl? Give me your cookies. I'm going to the other end. Lay up. Smooth. Did y'all not see all of this take place? We watched it. It was a marvel. That entire team went off. And I didn't know what the hell Coach Sides was doing when she had Wheeler, Mitchell, and Caitlin in the game at the same time. I was like, yo, I told you never, never, ever, 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 ever to put Mitchell and Wheeler in the game together again. But you did it. But this is how you put Caitlin up in there at the end. So you know what I, I think Coach saw? I just think Coach elevated Caitlin to the First string defense for four quarter stops. I just think, I, I think we just saw that, guys. My mind is blown. I'm at 13 minutes right now. I need to start wrapping this up because I want y'all to watch this whole thing. But my mind is blown. What I just saw right now, y'all don't see the evolution of this girl. Coach has trusted her enough to put her in the game in the fourth quarter with the game on. Did y'all see how close the game was still in the fourth quarter? How many times has Coach Sides taken her out? Kaylin has gotten better. You know what? I think Coach Sides watching my videos. I think Coach Sides, I think Kaylin watching my videos too because she's stepping the defense up. Oh my God. I think they hear me. <laughs> hey, if they don't hear me, make them hear me, guys. Look, guys, this thing is going cuckoo. If you are new to the channel, you know what you got to do. Hit that subscribe button to become a part of Chocolatty Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos. Oh my God. I just had a revelation. Coach Sides has finally started to trust Caitlin. That's going to be the title of this video. And I need to work on a thumbnail too. I wonder what it's going to look like. Who knows? But anyway, you guys, live stream? Did y'all live stream the game this week? This this Friday? I don't know if I can actually show the actual game, but I might do some things to make sure like show some of it. I don't know. I can figure it out. And I might need to go get a new screen too because when I was trying to do it before, my screens kept going out. So I might need to go do, get some screens for when I do this, man, and 
so we can all watch this game together and route on and, and marvel in it. Marvel and this girl, that's Kayla, who's doing a damn thing right now. Y'all can hate all you want. Hate all you want. But she's still going to keep going. The coach trusts her now, guys. It's time for them to get together and build a stronger unit going on this road together. Going on this road. Oh, and Shell Swoops, you thought you was going to sneak your ass up out of this, didn't you? Didn't you? I can't believe this lady, right? Is talking the way, I can't believe these ladies are talking the way that they're talking about each other. Do y'all understand what I'm saying about these women? How they, they, they shitting on each other? How do you have the nerve to discredit anybody? To discredit anybody in their records? Yeah, you feel how you want to feel about LeBron James, but that dude has 40,000 points in the NBA. How many points do you have? I'm just saying. But Caitlin put up numbers, like crazy numbers. And she was in school for only four years. And Cheryl Swoops got her happy ass on somebody's talk show and said that this girl's records shouldn't really count. They said it's a COVID record, whatever the hell that means. She's trying to say that Kaylin had a COVID year. That is not true. Kaylin played four years. I don't know why it was so hard, was so hard for her not to stop from what she was saying and be like, hey, can we look this up? She's trying to say that Kaylin played five years, guys, is what she's trying to say. She's trying to say that that's that shit that she did over there. Now it don't matter. And then you got three pointers. You got all this other stuff. I can't believe you talking like the. the. I can't believe you talking like that about your your comrade. I cannot believe. Look, guys, I might get a little sensitive right now, but I can't believe this shit when y'all talk about the people that's trying to help you. This is a crab in a bucket mentality. That so many of my people have. When you see that there's somebody, you notice the greatness of somebody, but instead of backing them, you want to bring their ass right back down to you, to your level, because you want to be the one that does it. It ain't you. It wasn't them. This WNBA was ahead of its time. When Candace Parkers came in there, she was ahead of her time. Kaylin came in this bitch right at the right time. And guess who else? Juju. Juju, because people, it was, guys, the Me Too movement, the Me Too movement, duh, people start to recognize y'all, start to be heard, now, a lot of y'all that are being heard, we are like, shut the hell up, shut your ass up, because you're not making no sense right now, we trying to help you, how in the hell are y'all going to shit on Caitlyn when she has brought so much to the WNBA revenue-wise. Revenue. Look, that lady that keep getting on that damn WNBA commercial talking about this team been delivering outstanding results since 1997. We've been delivering astounding results since 1997. Back to hell, y'all have. You are a damn lie, and they need to redo that video, and you need to say we have been delivering outstanding results since 2023. That's what you need to say. Maybe 24. I'm giving you a benefit of the doubt because the shit started getting better. It did. From 20, what, 2021 to 2024 right now, that has been his best. It's been his best. And you cannot deny that Kaylin is the reason why. Because it started to follow her. This Me Too movement shined a light on women. It started to give them more respect, guys. Do you understand this is America? A country where women couldn't vote? Just like black people? As soon as black people got the right to vote, so did women too. You got to feel me when I say this. They didn't have no rights. Damn, they're similar to black people. This is how these, these women had to go through. And now they finally are being heard. And now when we listen to these women in the WNBA, we are hearing some of the most obnoxious stuff ever. Because you, you want it to be way more than me too. You want it to be me, period. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You don't want this for everybody because if you wanted it for everybody, you wouldn't go against her. I don't even think I've heard anybody come out and say great things about her that's playing in the WNBA right now. Like somebody who's come out there and be like, you know what? She's taking a lot of flack, but she's really holding her own. And I got to commend her. And then just walk off. Everybody's like, man, we just want people to know that we've been here for so long and been putting all this together and it's just a rough and tough competitive league and we're just the toughest of all guys and, and we'll do anything. We're just so tough and strong and brave. 
That's that's what I hear when I hear them talk. I mean, like y'all want to go out there and put the American flag behind y'all and, and put some fucking lumberjack clothes on and some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Patriots. That's how I feel like y'all feel like y'all patriots. We are here. And we are. We are here. That's just it. <laughs> Almost close. Too close. Look, okay, I'm getting too close. I gotta stop. I gotta give this thing. But Cheryl, don't do that. It's like, girl, don't you do that. Don't do that. You y'all got the opportunity right now to get on these platforms that these men are putting y'all on. For real, dude. Y'all are y'all are shining right now. If you if you really paid attention, what is it, Lexi Brown? You popping up on the 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 No Chill Gill show, whatever. You realize how many people watch that show? People know you now, and instead of getting on there and big up in yourself, I wouldn't be talking about nobody else. I'd be talking about me and what the hell we did for the league. I wouldn't say I wouldn't even say her name, y'all. Boy, somebody need to teach, somebody need to train y'all. Somebody to train, somebody to teach y'all. This is what this is the problem with all the independent stuff. Listen, everything that y'all wanted to have happen for the Me Too movement and moving it forward, I'm trust me, it was some shit that was gonna come along with it. You guys gonna need men to help y'all get through this. Y'all need y'all gonna need black men because we've seen this before. We've as a matter of fact, we we was they invented it for us. <laughs> so we couldn't succeed. But guess what? We succeeding right now. If you get to the end of this video and you hear all this stuff, boy, I I need you to put in the comments. Uh, you know what? If you make it to the end of this video, put up a fist. Put up a fist. Just put a fist up on your screen. Put a fist up on that thing, man. Let me know y'all made it to the end of this thing, this video. Because right now, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We need to stop all the nonsense because people are missing something. They really missing it. I ain't missing it. I'm getting to see all this Caitlyn stuff with y'all. We all getting to see it together. And if they don't want to witness it, the hell with them. We can witness it all together. Y'all can witness this great, hey, win streak. This is a great turnaround. I don't think they won three games in a row last year. You remember what the, the comment I made about Dion? Dion went to Colorado. They was one and what, 12, one and 11. Coach Sides was 13 and 27 last year. She only won 13 games, guys. They already won six. What does this tell you? What, what does this tell you, guys? If you, Sides, look, get a, get a damn girl the keys to the car. Stop playing around. Give her the keys to the car. All the players on the team, get in the damn car. There's a lot of y'all, so we, we y'all not having a car. We can get y'all a big ass truck, some shit. Pack all y'all ass up in there. Get in there with Kayla, let her drive. Y'all to victory. This is what's gonna happen, guys. Y'all keep watching. She's broken a lot of records in the, in the WNBA too. She broken some Dana Taurasi records to be to, exactly for uh, the most uh, uh, points and assists as a rookie. This girl is doing her thing, and people so mad they hating her and they missing it. And I told you this though. I told you this. Haters always attack the people that's doing things because they wish that they was doing them. It's envy. Envy is a green-eyed monster. Green-eyed monster. And right now, it's roaming around the WNBA. Dispose of it. Dispose of it, Caitlin. Kill a monster. <laughs> Look, guys, that is my time. Please, like I asked earlier, if you make it to the end of this day, man, you know, fist in the air. And there's some other things I actually to put in the comments, too. I can't remember. Oh, the fever game coming up. Uh, do y'all want to see a live stream? And people, yeah, let me know where y'all from. Let's keep that thing going. I'm going to get to y'all comments, bro. I'm sorry I haven't got to them yet. I've been so tired. I've been doing homework, bro, and I need to get some sleep. I need to get some sleep right now. But I decided to run up in here and do this video for y'all real quick. I hope y'all appreciate it. I hope y'all really do. You guys, thank you so much. Hey, one more time. Subscribe. Like. Notification. I'm out. Peace.